Hey, it's Nat here, your local vertical farming expert. For real this time. I did it. I grew arugula in the last video. It's actually does taste like arugula. Oh my god! <laughs> And I really want to keep that trade of success going. So I was thinking like, you know, maybe, maybe, maybe time to give up on lettuce just for now and stick with arugula. So I'm just going to grow more arugula and I'm going to grow six boys this time. So that way um, we can actually eat it. You know what I mean? Like last time it was just like a snack. I'm going to be using that same container from the garlic experiment because I'm pretty sure the problem there was just sunlight, not the container itself. So I'm going to wash that out and disinfect it with bleach and then just transfer the germ germinated boys in there. So first step, germinate the arugula. All here. For right now, we really don't need any sunlight because nothing has sprouted yet, but once that happens, I'll turn these babies on. Okay, so it's been roughly a week and a half since the start of the project and I have the arugula in this little white bin here behind me. There hasn't been really much growth since I put them in there. I'm just disappointed. Now there are two possible explanations for that. One, um, the roots aren't touching the water, which because this is painted, I can't see. <laughs> I've just been hoping, I've been opening it to see if the water slishes around and if it slishes, I'm like, okay, so the cups are probably in there. And maybe that's not the most effective way to check the bottle level. Uh, second, maybe it could just be the fact that there's no nutrients in the water and we're at that point. Um, we'll see. So I'm going to dump the water in here, make some nutrient solution and just set it up. <laughs> Water level is probably too high, but I'm chilling. Water is looking mighty green. Okay, so we're about three to four weeks into the arugula grow, and I'm so happy what we have so far. I'm literally a green thumb. I'm just popping off this month. Ah, look at it, it's growing. I'm so happy. It just looks, it looks good. There is some algae growth and some of the plants are getting some white stuff. I'm not too worried, I'm fine, it's okay. This is actually, this is where we got with the last one and then we ate all of it in the jar video. Um, but I'm pretty sure I could have just left it out. I was scared by the white stuff, but I feel like as long as it's not on the arugula itself, it should be fine. It's interesting how there is a gradient from big to small. I'm wondering if maybe the entire thing is on a tilt. That's so pretty. Also. One in the back does not have roots. For now, I'm going to put some hydrogen over the algae growth. Um, I don't think, I think it's honestly too late. Because these arugula were under the pink light in the closet, um, I just really couldn't tell if there was algae or not. I should have just taken it out and checked. I just did not do that. I just don't want white stuff all over my plants. So that's the plan. So it's been roughly a month or a month and a half. Everything was doing really well. These boys right here, they were huge. They were humongous. So everything was going really well, like literally two days ago. And then yesterday, um, I went into my room and like just checked up on the lights before I went to sleep. And then I saw these just like, they were devastated. And I like, I move the thing to see what's wrong and there's no water in there. Now there's water in here because I was like, let me try to salvage it. But no, <laughs> they did not cooperate. Here's our roots. These roots are pretty good. Like they're mostly white, but actually they're not as white as I, I ideally. I'm actually not sure if this is a good shade of white. I've definitely seen them whiter. Disease is not the issue here. I think I am to blame 100% for the deaths of these plants. Okay, should I eat one? Like, okay, I can't pull him out because he's connected to all the other ones. But this is a nice thick root. With this one, um, you can see these were taking a lot longer to grow. So they were just at a disadvantage this whole time because I had to adjust the lighting or like how close the plant was to the light based on these. And because these were like several inches lower, they really suffered. And that is very clear in just how thick the stems are for both of these plants, which I think is really cool. It's cool to have the comparison. This boy was doing well. This is my crown. My boy, he was so good. This is so sad. I promised my mother a plate of arugula. Now I'm gonna get clowned. She like went into my room. She's like, Natalie, did you know your plants are dead? And I was like, yeah. If I learned anything, it's the fact that I can do it. I just, I'm just, I can't, 
I'm not good at remembering to do things like watering. Anytime I have to refill something or just literally anything involved with updating water, I just always forget. And maybe, I don't know, Arduino system to notify me so I don't forget. That'd be nice. <laughs> That'd definitely be useful. Um, but I guess that's a later project. And yeah, that's pretty much all I have. If you like the video, feel free to smash the like button, hit subscribe, tap the notifications bell, and leave a comment. As you saw, this girl did didn't go so well and while yeah that's my fault if you guys have any tips for cracky girls like this that'd be greatly appreciated specifically in terms of algae prevention and just preventing that white stuff that keeps happening to all my plants i just want a gun i feel like um yeah if you guys help out we can all grow better together okay we're getting there i i swear i'll have a fully successful grow soon or, or later like i can't keep failing it, it, i have to stop eventually right that's how the learning curve works Try, try, and you will succeed eventually. Um, that's all I have. Have a great day.